I've been playing Warzone for three days straight, non-stop, all day long. <laughs> the game is amazing. And I was not a big fan of the forest. I didn't like how it looked. But this game is looking fantastic. The HDR, the graphics, I like the graphics. I like how it runs and how it feels. It, it actually runs better than the forest. So the settings that I end up using was 100 to, so I can use high graphics and DLSS balance because I like how the game looks. I know that these are not uh, competitive uh, settings. People just lower all the settings to get the highest frame rate possible. But if the game doesn't look good, I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> I'm not a competitive uh, gamer. I don't care about <laughs> winning or losing. I just want to enjoy the game. So I just want to do this video as a reminder that 100 Hertz works for black frame insertion and it is amazing. It gives you 263 frames per second like motion clarity. So what that means is that imagine you get a new uh, 240 Hertz OLED that they are coming. If you get one of those, this looks better in motion. 263 frames per second. It looks better in motion, so this is amazing. So how it feels? Come on, 100 <laughs> frames per second. 100 real frames per second. And we are using NVIDIA Ultra Low Latency uh, Boost Mode on the game. It's so responsive. So the motion clarity is just phenomenal. Just fantastic. So, yeah, and I've been using it with the real HDR, so native HDR. Uh, HGIG Motion Pro High. So now, you if you cannot get 100 frames, or let's say you are on a console, and the console has a performance mode that is 60 frames per second unlocked, so it goes up to 90 or even 120 frames per second a mode, usually th that mode goes down to 90 frames or maybe even less. My recommendation would be use 60 use 60 frames per second locked so the quality mode maybe you have on the console use that uh, 60 frames per second locked and use motion pro high because that is going to give you more motion clarity than 120 <laughs> so that's actually I forgot I would need to do the calculation so what you do is you calculate so 60 frames per second to calculate the the, the 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 frame time basically you divide one by 60 you get 16.6 uh, so then what you have to do is you'd have to calculate 38 percent of 16.6 millisecond and that is going to give you uh, a result in milliseconds so that's going to be the frame uh, the new frame visibility time that you're gonna have so then you just divide one by that and that's gonna give you more than 120 okay so basically 60 frames per second 60 Hertz uh, black from insertion motion pro high is going to give you better motion clarity than 120 okay and also better quality just in general because the console is gonna have higher fidelity uh, with that setting with those settings so that would be my recommendation but remember you have this option on the PC if you can push 100 frames 100 Hertz it is absolutely amazing I, I love it feels responsive and the difference for me is that to use 120 I have to lower the DLSS to ultra performance if I don't want to use widescreen and widescreen really is the way to go here for competitive because it does give you uh, you know more field of view but I don't care <laughs> I want to have the <laughs> I want to have the highest picture quality and that's why I prefer to use the full screen so I can get more uh, pixel uh, density and the image looks better and I love how the game looks really really enjoying it and how it feels especially with the dual sense so yeah I have more videos coming I'm of course going to give you uh, HDR settings for the new spider-man I see already that they improve the HDR because I see a paper white setting to adjust the mid-tones 
So I see a big brightness and a paper white setting. So yeah, but I've been playing Warzone <laughs> and I don't want to play anything else. That's the thing with these uh, multiplayer games that, yeah, just get, it's a rabbit hole. <laughs> you get into it and you cannot stop playing it, man. It's, it's amazing. I, I like it a lot, actually. But I want to also play other games, too. And also, I tried to play the game with a mouse and keyboard. <laughs> and I was much better, of course, than with a remote. You know, controller because I've been playing with the controller for a year only. I never had a controller before. Um, so yeah, I am a lot better with the mouse and keyboard. But I, I much rather enjoy the, you know, the. This, <laughs> I like a lot how, how it jumps, like this. <laughs> I like it a lot. So yeah, so that's what I'm gonna use. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, so yeah, I show you already the HDR settings, the in-game settings, just to just to show you uh, what I'm using here. Just high settings. This is these are not competitive settings. I just like how the game looks, so I'm just using on and boost mode for Nvidia Reflex, and just high settings, the spot cache and ultra, so you have more space for the cache, and also this on-demand texture streaming because I have a fast internet. Uh, this this might be helping maybe not let me know if you if you know uh, I haven't tested this on-demand texture streaming does this help with the stuttering or maybe make it makes it worse because it's streaming from the internet I'm not sure I have to I have to test more but I, I set it on and everything else is tessellation all high shader quality especially the shader quality because it says that set the quality of the lighting treatment on some surfaces. This has a slight impact on the colorization of these surfaces. So when we're talking about colors and stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to lower that because I want to see the game. Especially that HDR looks amazing. So just long for the draw distance, high, 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 and DLSS balance and no sharpness because the DLSS already has sharpness in 50 and it looks sharp I, I like a lot how DLSS is looking in this game with that force TAA it's just it's okay it looks good and you get better performance I'm okay with that so but you can always go ultra wide here you can do uh, here's 21 by 9 even 32 by 9 <laughs> 32 by 9 is um, is wild it's too much well, we can try it it is a lot actually so much a <laughs> field of view you cannot you, you don't need to move the camera you just need to move your head <laughs> to see the enemies so maybe you don't have to use a uh, black frame insertion uh, because you don't have to move the camera at all <laughs> you can't see everything so you can enjoy HDR turn off black frame insertion and I also when I'm when I am when I am enjoying HDR what I do is DLSS quality and then you know G-Sync so I can use I can use G-Sync here no problem I'm gonna get 120 for sure no problem maybe in 32 by 9 for sure I can do 120 I can do 120 uh, easily actually so what I do is I use this uh, Riva Turner a statistic server and with Riva Turner I lock the frame rate I have it here what I do is I change here, 120, and then in-game. I come to the in-game. So you see V-Sync. I have V-Sync on the NVIDIA control panel, not on the not on the game. That gives you better, better latency, so no V-Sync. And some people ask me, hey, how can I improve the latency with uh, black frame insertion even more? Well, uh, make sure that your GPU never goes be uh, beyond 80 percent that's gonna give you even better latency but i don't think it's necessary man this is so responsive already <laughs> there's no need for that it's not gonna make you win more games <laughs> just need to get good so yeah i have this i am using this in-game uh, limiter just in case because in my experience there are some games i haven't tested that on this game but there are some games 
where uh, the in-game frame limiter has an effect on on the smoothness so basically when you pan the camera if, if you don't use the in-game uh, frame limiter it will uh, stutter uh, I don't I don't think there's a problem in this game but in Gotham Knights which is a messed up game <laughs> you have to set the in-game uh, frame limiter to 60 for example if you want to use black frame insertion 60 otherwise you're gonna have a judder so it's going to jump when you move the camera it's gonna look jump so yeah see I can get 120 easily here 75 percent 74 percent GPU utilization and I don't even need to move the camera <laughs> because it's so wide this this is a competitive advantage for sure but I'm not gonna use it it's too much <laughs> it's too much but you do get that perfect black on the OLED there's no you know it is perfect black by the way this is how black from insertion looks like uh, it is similar so motion pro medium is 50 percent window size so it looks like this this is what motion pro medium is doing at 100 frames or 120 for example is is showing you this size of the screen and it is a scrolling down imagine this wide is scrolling down and scrolling down like this it is refreshing in that way and the rest of the screen is black so this is a representation of of, of how it looks actually so yeah let me know uh, if you have any questions uh, I'm gonna keep playing the game but I'm, I'm also going to install <laughs> spider-man and other games that I want to try and give you some settings but yeah I'm really really liking uh, Warzone man really enjoying the game especially with this AI this easy mode so I can get <laughs> some some skills with the with the controller I've been playing a lot this easy mode um, uh, against AI more than the than the battle royale because the battle royale people are just very very good <laughs> and it's more difficult to win you know so yeah let me know if you have any questions so here the water I would need to lower settings here because the water it is it is trashing the frame rate. maybe maybe it's the water caustics setting let's see I think it is this water caustics yeah that's what it was it still needs yeah, I still need some some help sometimes when I change the game settings I need to back up and uh, load the game again because sometimes the the settings changes are not uh, I, I think I, I they are not very well applied sometimes but yeah I'm getting 120 now so yeah let me know if you have any questions